name is Celise Rose, and this is my story. This is my truth. I hope that this video helps someone out in any way, shape, or form. I hope that you guys know that everything will always be okay. I hope you guys know this is the scariest thing I think I've ever had to do on social media. This is the most vulnerable I've ever been on camera. But I want you guys to know that it is okay to be you. It's okay to be who you are and stay true to who you are. And I hope that you guys are feeling okay after you watch this video and know that everything will always be okay. What is your biggest sin? My biggest sin? When it, not when it comes to life, of course, but like when it comes to this stuff, not doing this video sooner. You know, although I figured out who I was this year, 2019, I mean, there's no, I could have done it sooner this year, but I did figure out who I was this year. I think the biggest sin was, I guess, not staying true to myself fully and waiting a while to do it. You know, although I do have every right to take as long as I want to, as we all do, because you can all come out whenever you want to come out. There's no right or wrong time. There is no right or wrong time, it's just on your time. And that's what I've always told my followers, regardless, you know? I remember that uh, I dated some girls this past year. They could tell you. I asked them, I was like, yo, what would you do if I was bi? And they'd be like, that'd be freaking weird. And I'm like, yeah? I even asked my family, some family members, they were like, I couldn't see you as that. But you're saying that because maybe you were I wasn't confused, I was just in denial in a sense. And I was asking because I needed their validation in that moment. Like, I was hoping they would be like, it'd be okay, it doesn't matter. But no one ever said that. Everyone was always like, I don't know, that'd be weird, that's not you. Like, I see you so, like, your way. And I was like, oh, okay, cool. I needed that validation. I think my biggest sin was looking for approval when I didn't need it. Because all I need is the approval of myself. And once I found that, which I did this year, that's what helped me make this video, is when I stopped searching for things that I already had in me. I think people out there, you know, they think you're a liar, and they think you're lying a lot about your sexuality. A lot of people think you're like guys, and you're just lying to them. So I think the biggest thing with that is if you go to my YouTube, which I'm never gonna delete the videos, they're always gonna be there. When I was coming out as a lesbian, a couple of years ago I posted it, I was like, it just never felt right with a guy. And I wasn't lying, because I just found myself this year. It never felt right with a guy. It didn't feel like, I didn't feel anything. But with a woman, it always felt right. I mean, with a woman, it still feels right. Like, I love women. I will always love women, you know? But I wasn't a liar, you know? I came out when I was 16 as a lesbian. I haven't been with a guy in literally pretty much 10 years. I have not, but it's, it's crazy that me being on social media, they all saw it happen. They saw me find myself. It's the scariest thing in the world to put this online because they're gonna call me a liar. They're gonna call me a fake lesbian. They're gonna call me confused. They're gonna call me a sinner. They're gonna call me gross. They're gonna call me everything I already know. They're gonna call me and that's fine. But one thing they can't call me is, is not being myself. The scariest thing is to post this, but what's scarier than this is to not be yourself, is to be trapped. And that's not okay. So people can call me whatever they want to call me. I get hate every day. I think we all do, you know what I mean? But the year I found myself is a year I, I said my truth. And that's all I can do. And I'm not ashamed to be who I am. What's crazy to me is that everyone can tell you all day, every day, hey, be yourself, love yourself. And whenever you do it, they're like, no, but not like that. Not like that, don't do it like that. People want to tell you how to be yourself. I don't think people really understand this. But people, even kids, kids, adults, teenagers, kill themselves every single day. They commit suicide every single day because they're not accepted. They're scared to come out. They think that they're weird. They think that everything is just the end of the world. So I want to bring awareness that whether you think you're straight, gay, bisexual, whatever, whatever, there's so many terms to this, and that's a beautiful thing. It's okay to like whatever you like, because we're not hurting anybody. I'm not hurting anybody. It's okay to be you, it's okay to come out, but on your own time. There's no, no pressure, no rush. There is no right or wrong way to do it. It's just whenever you're ready, you just do it. And whoever accepts it, good. Whoever doesn't, that's fine. At least you know that you accept you, and you win. What do you want this video to do for your supporters and for yourself? Ultimately, I did this video to make a difference. Let me quickly add in, I just wanted to 
first and foremost say that I want to be honest with my supporters. You know, I, I think everyone, everyone in the world knows how much I love my supporters. Everyone knows this. First and foremost, they deserve me to be honest, but the ultimate goal for this video, hopefully it happens, was to save someone's life. So many times a day people tell me, hey, Celise, like, thank you for what you do. You saved me. You helped me with, with my divorce. You helped me with, with coping with the loss of a family. You helped me with this. You helped me with coping with that. And I just, I want this video to just save someone's life. I want them to know that, like, I'm going through this too. Like, I'm that person. You know what I mean? Like, I just want them to be okay. And it's okay to be confused or it's okay to not know who you are but it's not okay to commit suicide over this because even this year, like I was so vulnerable on camera. I don't know if anyone saw my YouTube video about it. A lot of people did where I was suicidal this year because something really, really bad happened to me and I literally wanted to end my life. And I don't know, that was hard because like, I'm a very strong person. So for me to get to that mentality, being as strong as I am, God knows what other people go through that aren't as strong. You know what I mean? Sometimes you want to, you know, end your life or hurt yourself or cut yourself. And it's like, why? You know, we're not hurting anybody. I just want people to know that it's okay to be you, you know? I don't know. Life is already hard enough as it is, but loving someone should not be hard. And that's my message. Just be you, you know, whenever you're ready, just, it's okay. It's okay to be you. It's okay to not be okay, but it's not okay to, you know, bully other people because you don't accept what they believe in. It's not okay to end your life because you don't feel accepted. And I want them to know that even me as an influencer, as a huge public figure, that I'm not okay sometimes, but it will always be okay. And that's my message. I just want to help someone. I want to save someone's life because I'm tired of going on the news and saying that a seven-year-old killed himself or an adult because they didn't want to come out. They this, they that, they felt bully, they didn't feel accepted. So I just hope that my video brings awareness. I know it's going to bring a lot of hate to me and that's fine. I could take the heat all day. It's fine. I could take it. But as long as I help someone today, then I did what I had to do. I fulfilled my purpose today and I'm happy about it. How do you feel about, you know, telling this to your supporters and everything? Does it make you feel free, you know? Tell me, tell me about it. Realistically, this is a very scary thing for me to do. You know, I'm not scared of the public of what they have to say. It's just scary for someone to even come out. I get it, you know? But I feel free now. I don't have to hide and be like, just be someone I'm not. You know, I found myself this year and I'm glad that I'm saying it this year. I feel happy. I feel like I'm not boxed in anymore. I don't care what anyone says just because of the fact that like I already have the validation for myself like I told you previously. So I feel happy, I feel free, I feel okay. And I feel like out of all the things I've done wrong in my life, which we all do, I just feel like that at least I could say that I was always myself, you know? I'm not perfect, I don't wanna be perfect, no one's perfect, but I am me. And I will always stand for what I believe in and fight for what I believe in. My manager told me that weeks ago. He, he, he told me, you've always fought to be who you are. Why aren't you doing it now? And I was like, good point. So I feel free. I'm happy. I'm me. And no one can take that from me. So.